<laughs> That's better. Hello there, Brita Kelly Miller here, and I'm just coming in to say thank you. Thank you as a member of our community, and thank you for all that you do to care for the residents at this most challenging time. You know, I know it's hard enough to be a caregiver during normal times. It's one of the most challenging jobs that exist emotionally um, and certainly physically. And I want you to know how much we appreciate everything that you do every single day. So I'm going to be coming in and doing a program for you in the future. But today, I want to say Happy St. Patrick's Day and share with you a special, a very special memory that I have of the care my mother received at CRC. It was a long time ago. It, I think it was about 15 years ago. And yet the memory is crystal clear in my head. And, and I hope it's something that you will enjoy as well. So I'm decked out. I'm wearing my mom's Irish sweater. Um, I have my mug of um, not Guinness. No, it's tea, I swear. <laughs> anyway, um, and I have my favorite little mascot here with me to, uh, to cheer me on. But my mom was, a, a, she, my mom broke her hip and she had a number of other complications and she was um, going through rehab at Kresge and she was there for mm, about eight weeks. And it was a hard time for her and for me and for our family, for everyone who goes through any, any kind of um, uh, rehabilitation therapy, especially if you're not used to it. But I wanna tell you about an experience with, uh, with one of the, uh, the caregivers, one of the aides at Kresge that still, still is in my heart. And it just says something about the character and, and the level of, of kindness and love that, that your team is able to deliver and how it stays with people. So my mom was this delightful little Irish woman. She had an Irish accent and uh, was most of the time a pretty cheerful person. And um, she was doing better. And one of the aides was able to get one of those little St. Patrick's Day um, tiaras, you know, the tinfoil kind, probably from the dollar store, and a little green lay. And it was, it was no big deal, but it was a huge deal. And the idea was, actually, my mom ended up being like a one-woman St. Patrick's Day parade. And the aide walked her around, you know, into the dining room and stopped by different people's rooms. And my mom would say hello. She would say a few words in Irish, like, Cade Mila Falcha, which means 100,000 welcomes. Then they took her on the elevator up to the second floor, which she had never been. So this was quite an adventure. And took her from room to room to say hello to people, to say here was the official leprechaun, a real live leprechaun from Ireland um, to wish them happy St. Patrick's Day. Then they took a Polaroid photograph of my mom wearing her little foil tiara and pinned it outside um, her door with her name under, you know, underneath where her name was. And anybody that came in over the next few weeks to visit mom, whether it was an aide or a nurse or her doctor um, and family members that she got to see this and, and relive this experience. It made her feel so special. It made her feel so honored. And it was just a lovely bright spot, a delightful moment that honored her. And at the same time, I think gave a, a bit of joy to, to the other staff members, the other team members, um, and other patients and residents at Kresge. So I just wanted to say thank you because that's one tiny story, one example, and I'm sure there are hundreds, probably thousands of more examples of kindness and going that extra mile that um, as, as a, a team member, you might not think that people really know all the things you do. And you know what? We don't. We don't know all the things you do. But from this family member to you, I just want to say thank you. All those times you just did that little bit extra to make someone feel loved, to make someone feel safe, and to feel honored, and to treat them with the dignity and respect that I know that is, is, is just part of you. It, it is who you are. So thank you again. And in this difficult time, um, I just want you to know how much you are appreciated by whether people have family members at CRC or not. We honor you and we appreciate your work. And I look forward to seeing you soon and sharing some more good ideas to help you to take a break before you break. This is Brita Miller. Thanks again. And happy St. Patrick's Day.